welcome back to Healthy Start. You know I'm Dr. B and we got a great week of stuff this week. We're gonna be talking about meals and snacks and all this great stuff. And I don't think I'm gonna have it. Oh. Hey, who we got here today, kids? You can take a rainbow, <laughs> sprinkle it with dew. The candy man, baby! <laughs> You're the candy it, man. Billy Wonka. No, 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 Billy Wonka. We're talking about meals and snacks and healthy food. We can't have you candy man here today. Who else? What other healthy snack could there be than candy after school? No, 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 Billy, Billy. Seriously, I gotta tell these kids about how to eat healthy and the, the right type of snacks to be eaten during school, Takes after school. Takes too long. Takes too long. What do you mean? You gotta have it fast. Huh. Fast food. Candy snack. No. Fast. No, food is fuel, kids. When you eat and you get to decide what type of food you're gonna put into your body, you gotta think of it like it's energy. It's like it's sugar. No, no, it's energy. No, no, it's either gonna build you up or it's gonna break you down. It goes one of two ways. Build you up or break you down, Billy. Up and down, sugar, up and down, yeah, sugar. Yeah, it'll go, you'll go up for a little while, but then you'll crash like a rock. You can't be having all that, Billy. I'm gonna teach you all kinds of great things this week. Well, let's go. Did you know that food can actually give you power if you choose the right type of food? Did you know that? What kind of food? Well, the right type of food. Name one type of food that you like to eat, Billy. Hmm, cotton candy. What do you think that is? Hmm? What do you think cotton candy's made out of? Fruit. No. <laughs> what kind of fruit is cotton? Is that fruit flavor? <laughs> oh, you're a silly man. Did you know kids eating the right type of food will also make you think clearly? So when you guys want to take your schoolwork all day long and you want to get good grades all day long and you want to think clearly and do the right thing by your teacher, right? If you put the right type of food in there, it'll make your mind think super clear. But if you put the wrong type of food in there, you might do good for one hour, then the next hour you'll do bad, and then you'll do good, and then you'll be bad. And all you really want to do with food, kids, is just stay nice and steady all day long. Chocolate. I'm sorry. I'm just, uh, chocolate. No, chocolate is not It's smooth. Milky smooth. <laughs> Creamy. Chocolate. Once again, kids, I'm so sorry I brought a bad influence into your life today. Did you know that the right type of food can also keep you healthy? You, not, you notice how many, so many kids right now are getting sick at school and their immune systems are down and it's just one kid gets sick and another kid gets, did you know the type of food that you put in your body will actually keep you healthy and keep you from getting sick? Did you know that, Billy? Mm, is it like a doctor a day keeps the apple away? No, no, you got it all wrong. What? It's an apple a day oh. keeps the doctor away. Eating the right type of food will make you good all day long. So kids, so far we've learned about carbohydrates, proteins, and fat. Those are the macronutrients that have to be in every meal, including snack. Are you guys ready for some questions? What do you think, Billy? They are. All right, no answers. We'll do the answers tomorrow, ready? Question number one. Which is the most important meal a day? Is it breakfast, is it lunch, or is it dinner? Got that? Question number two, how many meals or how many times in a normal day should you guys be eating a meal or eating throughout the day? How many times? So one, two, three, four, five, what do you think? No, 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 hold on. Last question, should you eat more for breakfast, dinner, or does it even matter? Or should it be the same? So breakfast more, dinner more, or the same? Isn't that good questions? Answers tomorrow. I came up with those all by myself. Answers tomorrow. Answers tomorrow. Answers tomorrow. Are you ready to work out, kids? Let's do it. All right, Billy, we're going to do some exercises with the kids, all right? Here we go. I'm stretching. I didn't want to pull a muscle. <laughs> all right, here we go, kids, all together now. Big breath in, and then blow out. Big breath in, and blow it out. One more time. Big breath in, and blow it out. So kids, I got a brand new exercise. I'm so excited about it, Billy. This is gonna be the best exercise. It's my favorite exercise. It's got the best name in the whole wide world. Are you ready for it? It's called the mountain climber. <laughs> oh. no, no, I'm not a mountain. What are you doing? I'm climbing. No, 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 watch, watch. Billy, here's what I want you to do. You face here, face the kids. mountain climber. Hello, you're late. What? No, watch. All right, Billy, face the kids. Hmm? You're gonna put your hands straight down in front of you. Watch this, kids. Our hands are gonna go down on the floor like oh, this. On the floor. Mm. Oh, 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 oh. Mm. Too much candy, Billy. Mm. Legs go out wide, right, kids? Now bring one leg in like this. And what we're gonna do, Billy, is we're gonna switch feet. Ready? Like that, kids. Now do it again. Now do it again. 
Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. All right, kids, let's do 20. You ready, Billy? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten more. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Up. You're a little slow on that one. That's the one we're going to work on this week, kids. The mountain climber. You're like, you ready? You done with these kids? Hmm? Huh? We are. Kids, welcome back to Healthy Start. Have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow.